Are you having difficulty with uh, reaching overhead to grab things? Are you waking up with shoulder pain at night? Are you having difficulty with moving your arm, or arm around or picking things up? If so, then this video uh, may be for you. So this month we are working on a shoulder series and we're going to be giving tips and tricks about what kind of things you may be dealing with with your shoulder and what kind of things you can do to help to minimize your uh, stress on the shoulder. Today we're going to talk about the top three causes for shoulder pain. And uh, in future videos we'll talk a little bit more about what you can do about them, but there's a lot of power in knowing what is actually causing the problem. So the first cause I'm going to talk about is um, shoulder impingement. That is kind of a, a catch-all term for as the shoulder moves around, it, it moves around way more than the stability can sometimes match with. So as you're moving up in the air, if the structures of the shoulder get pinched, that's referred to as impingement. Here's the classic sign that you can identify that it's impingement causing your symptoms and not something different, is you will have what's called a painful arc. What that means is as you're raising up in the air, you will find pain at some range, ouch, as you raise up further than that, it will eventually clear and then it will be fine up overhead. You may run into that same arc as you're lowering down as well, but there will be always be that midpoint that will cause that pain uh, to occur that will typically minimize when you get up, up overhead. That's a classic sign of shoulder impingement. The second issue that you may uh, be dealing with is a rotator cuff tear. Now, rotator cuff tears get a lot of bad publicity because um, when you do an MRI and you see a tear on there and it gets repaired, that's not always the cause of your pain. And you're going through a lot of recovery that is not necessary. It is a lot of the times, but it's not always the cause. Here's how I know that is because if you take an MRI of 100 people that have no shoulder pain at all, you're going to see rotator cuff tears on a pretty large percentage of them. So you have to really make sure that you're getting a good clinical diagnosis along with the MRI. And that means seeing either a really good physical therapist or an orthopedic surgeon who can go through an exam with you to tell you, yes, it is your rotator cuff cuff that's causing your symptoms. Some classic signs of rotator cuff uh, uh, pathology or pain are difficulty with reaching to the outside. They are uh, difficulty with sleeping at night and kind of a deep aching pain in the shoulder that is present even without a lot of motion. Uh, uh, so that's a rotator cuff tear. The, the third really common type of cause for shoulder uh, problems and pain is the neck. So nerves in the neck send signals all the way down the arm. You don't have to have any pain at all in the neck, and you can have pain that manifests itself in the shoulder. Sometimes it's the back of the shoulder in this position here, and people will swear it's something wrong with their shoulder. Easy test to determine if it's the neck versus the shoulder. If you move your neck around, and that creates your pain, more so than moving your shoulder around does, it's probably your neck. But get that, um, uh, get that checked by a good clinician to be able to make sure that that's what's going on. Hope you enjoyed today's video and got something out of it with respect to um, how you can maybe uh, learn more information about the shoulder or minimize uh, stress or pain at the shoulder. Uh, if you are interested in coming in to see me for a free 30-minute consult, just uh, uh, either call me or email me and we will set that up for you. My name is Biagio and I'm with Elite Physical Therapy.